Hey Cancer, Jackie Town here, and this is your general reading for the week of June 5th, 2023. Now the message came through very clear uh, as I was working on getting things set up for your reading. I said there, there was the clearing. It's the clearing. The sudden changes and the clearing. Uh, with that said, I've let, I've let an incident clear the space in here and uh, smudge the cars as well right quick. Uh, so if you see any smoke coming before the camera, that is not spirit. Y'all know how spirit rolls in, up in my videos, but that is not it. So if you see smoke, it is actual smoke. Okay. Now, <clears throat> Cancer, what we got going on here? An Aquarius and a Leo may or may not resonate with you this week. You are on a new emotional path and do expect sudden changes, but this is positive energy, positive energy, high vibrational. This is, shows me this is you getting things done. This is you in control. This is um, taking care of that to-do list, things you've been putting off that you're taking care of. You're doing so successfully. You're planning a trip out of state. Not, not abroad, not far away, but just a quick trip out of state. That looks good as well. Someone close to you coming in as an unexpected offer of assistance. But this trip that you're planning, I'm going to say it's coming before the 20th of the month for whatever reason. That shows pretty prominently. All righty. Like I said, the message was the clearing. The clearing and um sudden changes. And if you wonder what I cleared with, I use lavender. So there you go. Let's get into some oracle cards before we jump into your message for the week. All right, Cancer, you've got the high priestess of air. You could be dealing with an air sign. Uh, air sign, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. Okay. Uh, you're grounded. You're centered. Hmm. Some of the women are changing up the makeup. Saw that prominently. Okay. Uh, you're also very intuitive in your tapping into your intuition. You're counting your blessings. Gratitude. I'm seeing blessings and gratitude and gracious. Yes, I like it. Something is falling in line with your vision. And you are allowing yourself to visualize what you want. And, and visualization and the daydreaming and manifestation and, and seeing yourself having what you want. You know, and I'll tell everybody that's the best manifestation ever. It's just act as if you already have what you want and you'll have it. Hi, Harry. Oh, there's some forbidden here too. Something forbidden. Something forbidden that you're drawn to. Something. Some of you are fighting addiction. Okay. This is some kind of vicious circle that is repeating itself over and over again. And you're stronger than you think. I want to throw that out there as well. Hi, Susie. Loyalty. You are one of the most loyal people out there. You're very loyal. Problem is you tend to be loyal to the wrong people. But you are very loyal. Uh, some daisies may resonate with some of y'all. Just plain old daisies, you know. Playfulness, the beauty. And I already sp spoke about your makeup, but you're doing something different. You're changing you up. There's something you're doing. You're leveling up on your appearance. Okay. And we have obedience. It's because you're being obedient. Some of you, like I said, I want to go back to say you are struggling with addiction. You are struggling and you're going on the right path here is what I'm seeing. Certificate success, some kind of recognition. I want to give you another one. Fulfillment. You're feeling pretty good about yourself, as you should. As you should. Hard work pays off. You're on a good path. You're on a good direction. So let's see what these sudden changes are. The clearing and sudden changes. All righty. Let's go with what we have. Two of Cups, gathering of two people, could be date night. Four of Cups, unexpected offer of love. Wow. So, yeah, all that just happened. Hmm. The manifestation. This is what you've been drawing into you. This is what you've been manifesting. This is what I was talking about with your visualization. 
those visions, drawing into you what you want to see happen. Um, some of you are really into, I'm going to say like the Renaissance era, something like that. Uh, some of you are collecting swords. Something pretty cool like that. Very interesting. We also have the death card energy, the endings, closures, rebirths, and new beginnings. Silver vehicle going to be significant here. Someone you know or someone you like driving a silver vehicle. One door closes, one door opens. The four of wands. Calmness and still is what I'm saying. Meditation, working on you, journey inward. Relationship, marriage, relationship offer. If you're single, this is going to be significant. If you're in a relationship, it's time to level up. Marriage, commitments, living together, things of that nature. It's all about the new beginning in love. I really want to use the word, the sudden, sudden, sudden changes. Maybe this is what, what Spirit is telling you with expect sudden changes and the clearing. Okay. We have the moon. You know, the moon talks about divine timing. Things lining up, falling into place. And it, to me, it's showing the timing is now. Ten of Cups. Okay, guys. This is it. This is the relationship. This is it. Hello, Jean and Susie and Maura and Harry. Um, you know, I will always tell you, if you're looking for a relationship, if you're single, the Four of Wands and the Ten of Cups are, are significant. You have them both in the center of your reading. Two of Swords. You have some decisions to make that you've been putting off twofold. Okay. Some of you, I see this specifically being, being a decision on a residential move. While others, I see you're deciding between two people. In matters of the heart. So yeah, lots going on here for the cancer. You have the moon again. Your timing is now. And it's almost like because of the sudden changes or the fact that everything is so sudden. Maybe you're having a hard time believing it's happening now, or you're like, is this really going down now? And, and it really is. It really is. Okay. You do you have a tower card moment? The clearing. Specifically the clearing. I lit an incense for a reason. Sudden changes, the clearing, okay? The clearing, this is your anger, your temper. This is something that is not set well with you, okay? Let's see why that tower is here. Page of emotions. Now remember, it's the page of cups. It's unexpected offer of love. That tower will never lead you to something worse. It's always going to lead you to something better. I think it's you venting at someone or something. The unexpected offer of love really going to work on your heart, pulling at your heartstrings. The chariot. Y'all know this is my favorite card in the deck. This is your yes answer. This is everything you want and desire. It's going to come rushing in. It's coming when you least expect it. Back to what I said. Sudden changes. Sudden changes. Very significant. The star, we're talking now, center your reading, wish fulfillment. Wish fulfillment, any delays are in your favor, but with two moons, I'm telling you right now, the time is now, so I don't see delays. I think this is more or less telling you to get ready. Get ready for those sudden changes. Get ready for that clearing. Clearing of the negative, and we have with that comes the ace of emotion, ace of cups. 
new beginning is in love. <coughs> love, matters of the heart. Expressing. Discussions, long discussions, talking about how you feel about one another. Cards jumping everywhere. Nine of Swords, loss of sleep. Believe it or not, Cancer, you've got a loss of sleep due to positive energy, not negative energy. Three of Wands, you're losing patience. You're waiting for your ship to come in. You're losing patience. There's a door here you're waiting to open. That door is not open yet. Now, there's a direct message from Spirit here. It's expect sudden changes, and there's a clearing, okay? But with the sudden changes, the door that you're wanting to open does not open yet. So that's coming under, yes, there is a delay with that star. There's something, something is coming, and it's coming in suddenly, but this one door that you're dwelling on is not opening for a reason, okay? And let's see. Temperance. Temperance coming in. Sagittarius energy. Temperance is saying you recognize and embrace that when you do things the same way, you get the same result. So therefore, you're changing things up and you're getting a better result. Now, there is the letter T here significantly. Okay. Your bonus card. The Fool. Happy go lucky full card energy. This tells me you're ready, ready to jump into something with two feet. You're ready to take a rest. You're ready for these. You are ready for these sudden changes. Okay. And I really want to stress the word sudden. I don't have a need to extend. So we're going to leave it there. You guys have a fantastic week. Don't forget if you're seeking a personal reading. It is in the description box below. Look for that black arrow in the right corner. And you always hit me up at JackieTomlin.com. But I'm logging off and coming back. Leo, Leo, you guys are next. So see you then. Bye.